Uh, my name is Jeremy Costa. I represent uh, Bike Life Legal, and also I am a member. Excuse of me, I, I called Jordan Day. I didn't call. Oh, that's you. Oh. Okay, that's, but now that you start, that's all right. Just make sure we got the names Let's going. Let's go first. No, like. you're already okay. going. I also am a member of the African American Ambassador Group. <clears throat> uh, and it, um, I, I just wanted to mention, you guys kept on saying how much work has been done on this bill, 8310. And actually, it's a cut and paste of the previous bill that... Um, did not make it through committee 5367. I don't know if you guys have access to that bill. If you guys want to pull that up, because this is a cut and paste of this bill with maybe an amendment on page four and page six. And the amendments are, and I'll just go through them since you guys don't want to go through it. It says effective July 1st, 2022. He actually mentioned it's going to have to amend this as, as well. A minimum of two school resource officers shall be placed in every public school in the state of Rhode Island. So, uh, first of all, number one, that amendment uh, has provisions at the bottom. And at the provisions at the bottom, it states that uh, all resource officers shall receive standardized training at a centralized location. Um, we don't have the money now. We don't have the money next year. We won't have the money in two years. And we won't have the money in three years. And you guys knew this. This is why this bill didn't make it to the committee the first time when it was only two million dollars. Now you want to fund 350 schools and make sure that they have the proper resource offices. So let me just give you a little bit of history uh, in regards to SROs. Um, Paige did a wonderful job explaining the national statistics in regards to SROs. Um, as you know, the ACLU completely opposes this bill. Steve Brown's not here, so I'll speak for him. Um, but also, let, let me just introduce to you, because all we're doing is trying to access the funds through the federal government because, you know, Mr. Biden decided that that was a good idea to get the voter back from the union and so forth. But let me just go into my, uh, let me just go into this real quick. I don't have much time. It says, the impact of SROs in schools, what is the impact of SROs on student safety in schools? SROs are categorically police officers, and as such, their prevalence in schools raise questions regarding the safety of children, especially children of color, children living in poverty, immigrant children. Decades of evidence demonstrate racial and ethnic disparities in policing. Black and Latino communities, youth and adults are disproportionately subjected to uh, pedestrian and vehicle stops, citations, searches, arrests, and incarcerations. In addition to the rate of police contact, the nature of police contact harm communities of color, specifically, also, incidents of police violence disproportionately impact black individuals who are 2.3 to 5 times more likely to be killed by police than whites. Native and Latino populations are also higher, at a higher risk in being killed by police officers. Even a young person uh, does not personally experience the unjust treatment by police. The experience of others in their communities can be uh, vigorously affected. Uh, such institutions and uh, Physical violence have deter deteriorated effects on youth, causing evaluated levels of stress, fear, trauma, and anxiety. The trauma, cognitive functions, and overall health. Discriminatory... And I thank you for your testimony, sir. You've gone beyond the, the, the time. I, I know you didn't... Yeah, that's okay. I didn't even hear the time. Yeah, I know. About a half a minute left. It says... Don't, I understand you want to interrupt. But... It says, discriminatory police practices also shape the worldwide views of young people of color, fostering uh, distrust of authorities and introducing feelings of powerlessness compared to white peers. <laughs> Asian, blacks, and Latino students are more likely to report feelings of less safe with police in their communities. For example, 9% of black youth and 70% of Latinos and 20% of Asians youth responded to the statement that police make me feel safe was a very much true uh, compared to 36% of whites. Given these realities, it is an imperative to carefully examine the impact of police in schools. Evidence suggests that the presence of SROs in schools do very little to improve children's safety and may affect the... Uh, the and, I, and, I, and I thank you for your testimony. Yeah. I really do. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. So please, okay. don't congratulate a man that just cut and paste a bill uh, from O'Brien, you know, okay. uh, please don't, 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 don't feed into that. The man did no work. He's just trying to tap into the voter public. That's okay. It. Thank you. Gotcha. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am.